Do you ever have the problem where you need to replace a shock cord in your rocket and you don't know how to get it down to that uh, anchor point? I'm going to show you how to fix that in this video. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Occasionally we get the question from somebody that says, I need to replace the shock cord in my rocket and I don't know how to reattach it to the eye bolt or the screw eye inside the rocket. So in the past, what we've told people is to just replace it using the old Estes style shock cord, you know, that's glued to the side of the tube like this. In this video, I wanna show you how I came up with a trick to get the shock cord reattached to that um, screw eye here. And I've got a clear rocket so uh, you can see what's going on. But when you're doing this process, you're gonna be working down from the top. But the process is the same. Uh, this is gonna require a little rocket surgery. And so we got some surgical tools and you can see our surgical tools here are wood dowels. Uh, we're also gonna need our shock cord you're gonna need two types of cord. You're gonna need your regular shock cord that you're gonna uh, make permanent in the rocket, and then another cord that's smaller uh, that will be easier to get through that eye bolt in there. Uh, it doesn't have to be Kevlar like this. It could be regular string. Uh, I'm just gonna use Kevlar myself. Um, you're also gonna need some tape, and maybe we're gonna need to make a hook. So our process is we're gonna, we're gonna get this string through there through that eye bolt and then we're going to pull it out like this um, and then this is going to be attached to this cord right here. Um, so we need a little hook to grab that. Um, so you can make one. Um, you can see here I've got a dowel and I've rounded off the end with some sandpaper. So I just took some sandpaper and just went around until it was nice and round. Um, and then I took a razor saw and I just sawed in a notch like that. And so it's kind of like a little hook, kind of like a crochet hook. And a crochet hook will work just as well. Um, and I'll show you how you could use either one of them. Um, now this little hook is gonna go down inside. So your, your dowel needs to be long enough to where you can get it inside your rocket like that. Um, if you're using a crochet hook, um, take it and just tape it to your wood dowel. Just going to take two pieces of tape and you want it um, secure so that's not going to twist around on you and that's why I use two pieces. Okay so that gives us the hook to pull it out. So now I'm going to take this shock cord and I'm going to tie it to my big one. I'm just doing an overhand loop. And don't pull that knot too tight because you want to be able to untie it later. Now on this end of the shock cord, um, I want to just fold it over and make a loop. So I'm just going to fold it over and you know just do a, another overhand knot. So I got a loop like that. And I want to stiffen that up a little bit because um, when, you're, when you're poking around inside there, it's going to want to bend on you. So to stiffen it up, I'm going to use some super glue. So I got some thin super glue here. Um, and you might want to bend it kind of like in a hook like this. And then it will kind of set. And of course my super glue is clogged. So I'm just wicking it in there. I'm gluing my fingers together too. Ugh. It happens. <laughs> I swear this, this show is becoming a comedy. Okay, so now we're gonna take our other wood dowel. You're gonna need two wood dowels. Um, and I made this one just a little skinnier because I'm gonna to try to go around on the outside here. So I'm gonna take another piece of masking tape. I'll take two of them. Um, and this time I'm just gonna fold the masking tape back on itself. 
and I'm going to stick it to the side of the dowel like that. I'm going to do the same here. Okay, and I'm going to take my loop and I'm going to just lay it along the side. I want to be able to pull it off the dowel, so that's why I'm just using masking tape like that. Okay, so now here's where the surgery comes in. Just make sure it's on there pretty good. Okay, so I'm not sure if you're going to see it or not. So I'm going to go inside and I want to get that loop through the eye bolt. Um, so this is why you want it to be kind of at an angle like that. I got it on that side, so that's good. So then I'm going to take this hook and I'm going to grab it like this. See, I'm just going to yank and pull. Now if I was using the other side, I would do the same thing. Just reach in there. And sometimes it helps to give it a twist. There we go. So as I'm pulling it, it pulled it right off the masking tape. I'll just go, it's a little easier with this hook because it's smaller. And just pull it through. All right, so now we're going to pull in through the big shot cord until we get it on the outside like that. Okay, so now we can untie this one right here, this knot. Okay, so now we need to tie this down there, so we're going to use a slip knot here. So to make a slip knot, you just go around and come out through the underside like this, then take this piece of shot cord, just lay it on top, cross it over, and pull it through. Okay, uh, and then I pull on the, this end instead of pulling on this end, because otherwise this end gets really long. So at this point, it should slide along the shock cord like that, which is good. So now I'll just pull it all the way down and then pull tight. And by pulling tight, it's getting nice and tight down here and it's not going to come loose. I use slip knots all the time for shock cords and I've never had one come undone. Um, because it's Kevlar, it can be near the exhaust, so I'm not having to worry about it, you know, deteriorating over time because it is Kevlar. It's, it's heat resistant. It's not flame proof, but it's pretty heat resistant. All right, so that's how you attach, reattach your shock cord to the eye bolt inside your rocket. Um, if you had to remove part of the shock cord, I would use basically the same trick. I would take my wood dowel and my hobby knife and I would tape this to the dowel and then I could go down in there and cut away the remaining of the, of the shock cord. So if you had to remove part of a shock cord that was already pre-attached, first cut it away with a hobby knife um, and then use the two dowel trick to reattach it to the eye bolt. So I hope that was useful. My name is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. I hope you subscribe to these videos. Um, you can do that at the Apogee website. When you subscribe to our videos, not only do you get the videos, but we also produce a newsletter that comes out every other week. So you get two things for the price of one sign-up. And your information is safe with us. We never share it with anybody. Uh, we do respect your privacy. So again, thank you for watching. My name is Tim. <music>